you're in the right place, it'll pop up and you can just vote. Oh, that's the conference. Right. We're doing the right thing. Uh, I'm glad to see rheumatology entering the 21st century. Uh, I think this is a very good way for all of us to uh, move forward. How do you feel about the tech portion of this? I think it's very innovative. Uh, I don't think any, ever, any other conference has done this. And so to have it interactive, being questions, uh, polling, uh, I think being able to ask questions while the talk is going on, I think it's very innovative. And it's the first time we've ever seen this. So I think it's very helpful for all of us. Methotrexate was generic. And Tammy can help you or out of 36. Okay. Everybody should, well, people from home are well, may, may not be voting. Work with Sydney Farber. What do you think about our speakers and the questions that they are able to field from even audiences from home? Well, you've got good, good, you've got good speakers, and uh, that's what I'm looking for—the meat of this thing. And this is one of the reasons I was encouraged to come. Um, any words of wisdom for patients who have a history of melanoma, and what are the therapeutic options? I struggle with that a lot. You know, 50,000 patients. Starting on CNF, there was looking at the incidence of invasive melanoma. It is not increased, not even close to being, not even a trend. But yet, we are worried about melanoma. And again, malignant melanoma, I, I had a melanoma site too. I got a big divot out of my back. My father died from malignant melanoma. I would take a TNF inhibitor if I needed it. Well, that's gravitas. It's, it's, I mean, it's I, melanoma site. I can't, I can't I, I, you know, having seen about 50 melanoma patients in the past, a uh, year, right? It is a capricious disease uh, that is hard to reassure anybody about because uh, it can be resected quite successfully and 16 years later it's back. People worry about it. This is where the audience drives the content of the lecture. What do you think about this? So I think this is actually pretty innovative. I think a lot of rheumatology, we learn from each other, we're a big community. So I think the idea behind this, being that we drive what we want to learn, is actually really important. These are key opinion leaders. These are thought leaders in our, in our um, specialty. What now? You know, Jack is smart, he's talented, and he's a scientist. So he put all three things together. And you know, not many people could do that. A lot of people are smart, a lot of people are creative, and a lot of people are aggressive. But very few people have the, uh, the trinity that makes things like this happen. Uh -huh.